Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 10 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the railings and then the roof. Now we're gonna continue working on this. Uh, we're gonna start off by going to south elevation. So in our south elevation, I'm going to add in a model in place. So go to your architecture, click on the drop down under component, and then model in place. And then scroll down to generic model, and then press OK. Click on whatever name you want. I'm just going to click on OK. And then after that, you can click on extrusion. And then we need to pick a plane, so press OK, and then we're going to choose this wall right here. And then after that, I'm going to click on Rectangle. And then from here, I want to add the 400 right here. And we want to make sure 0 to start. And then I'm probably going to put 500 for now, but we're going to make sure that it... Um, it is flush onto this wall and then we're going to select anything that is white because we want to make it similar to what we have there so for now I'm going to use linen white press OK and then OK now let's look at it at 3D first. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to AL and then align it from here and then right here. So now it's flush there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add on top of this so that everything is looking flushed. Um, we're probably we're going to go back here a little bit so that we could add in some framing but we're going to do that later on so I'm going to undo that for now and then let's add in something at the top here so click on cr create again click on extrusion pick a plane and then we're going to select this plane so we're going to be going back here again, but now we're extending it through here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add something right here. So we're probably going to push this one a bit, but that's fine. We have enough space there. So here I'm just going to delete this. And then click delete this so that we could trim it and then it's only one line and then similar to here we're going to extend this one so let's ma maintain the 400 so here I'm gonna select here click on 400 and then trim and extend and then trim and extend and then just delete those small ones here let's make it 400 and then we're going to move this one a bit later on so now same material so click on finish and then let's look at it at 3d so now it's looking like that I'm happy with the way it looks. Um, I'm planning to add something right here. So let's go back to South, click on Edit Extrusion, and then I want it to be all the way down. So another 400. So we might, we, we will uh, edit this because I know we have enough space there. Delete here. 
and then trim it so that it's one and then here 400 so click finish and then finish again now we're going to change the width of this so right now it's 3300 I could put this one at maybe 3100 click apply and then OK and then now we could just move this one and then I'm gonna fix it on this wall and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from the ha from below up to here so that we could have this one all flush so 2600 so I'm gonna edit this to 2600 so now everything is flush and as you can see it looks much better when it's flushed up to the top and to the corner here so now I'm going to fix this one so you know that I just wing it so right now I'm just using my arrow key and hopefully everything goes with it so select the just select the curtain wall I was trying to select everything but just select the curtain wall and it will follow and if we look at it I think that's good enough I'm thinking if we could click it all the way down if we extend this one like that I think it's much better in terms of the look so I'm gonna do that because I like the way it looks now so I'm just using a line AL and then clicking it from the bottom now we're clicking it from the top and I'm just f trying to find that one and then right here so you could do manually or you want if you want you could do using a line so now that's looking good I like the way it looks now and then everything is aligned from here and then let's go back to south elevation again and then we're just going to add one more right here so we're probably going to minimize this but let's add in the curtain wall again or the model in place again so I'm just gonna edit it from here create click on extrusion pick a plane and then we're gonna select this now we're going to have it 400 here and then 400 right about here now we're going to select here 400 delete all those small ones and then just trim and extend TR and then trim and extend right here it's linen white so that's fine and then click finish and then finish and let's look at it at 3d we could probably just extend this like that so it's looking nicer and then here for level one I just want to 
edit this boundary and just go around and then now use trim and extend to clean up so that's the look that I'm trying to do um, maybe we could change from the glass panel so it looks much better so I'm fine with that and then let's clean up this one so here what we could do is we could delete it for now delete everything and then we could just minimize it and that will be fine and then let's go back to south elevation and then at the same time let's delete I want to delete all the mullions first so delete this one and then we could just add a proper look here and even the grid lines let's delete or the curtain grid not the grid lines I uh, wanted to make it simple if you try to just delete the grid line it will delete some of the moyens instantly You could click on tab if you want to. Let's go to south elevation and I want to see it in wireframe. I think wireframe is too much. So let's go here, graphic display, and then transparency. Let's make it 20 only so that we could see what else are we having there, which we have some mullions right here as well and then deleting those and then here I'm going to pull it up similar to this okay I think this is good now what I just need to do is to add some curtain grids I think I'm just gonna put it in the middle to make it easier and then click on mullion and then all grids and then like that so it's still looking good And then what we could do more here is to ha make everything nicer in terms of how we're going to present this. So what I'm going to do is go to South Elevation. Um, let's not forget to pull this back. Go back to zero transparency. And then here I'm going to add in a level. So here click on level under architecture or type in LL I'm going to add a level right here this level will be ground we can type it at all capital and 
and then here in order for us to fix this click on the elbow so it's a zigzag form I'm going to undo it again, click that one, and then there's a zigzag there. Click on that to add an elbow so that we could change it up and then present it pr properly like that. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the ground here. And then here, we need to change the name as well. click on ground and then from here I would like to add in a floor we could add the floor on the level 1 as well so it's up to you where you are gonna put it but I'm gonna show you how to edit it so we're gonna pull that down so here I'm gonna click on floor edit type duplicate this will be floor number 4 and then here let's look for concrete and then maybe precast we haven't used yet so we're gonna use it now select rectangle and then from here let's add in around this space so make it 3500 okay and then click finish and then let's look at it at 3D. And then there you go. We need to edit this. So modify sub element. And then here you could select that. And then beside the arrows, you can ha you have a zero there. You can put negative 900. And then click here. Click on that negative 900. So now it's going down, similar to what we have there. So why negative 900? Because we put the ground onto negative 900 right here. So now what we need to do is we need to just add um, stairs right here. So I'm going to add a stair from ground to level 1 but we could actually just change it to around I'm thinking maybe 4 is good enough and then now click on finish first show it into 3d to understand it and then now we just need to go back to ground and flip it the other way around so just clicking on that arrow we can remove the railings and then from here we could change it to monolithic stairs and then now what we could do is we could extend it a bit we could edit those so the issue that I'm having here is it is based should base on level 1 and then to ground or it needs to be our other way around so that's the hard thing about stairs is because we need to set it properly even though everything is good there's always some bugs so I just want to fix that before we do anything else just change it to 3 because it's just showing 3 press OK and then let's pull it out change it to 600 so it's looking like that 
edit this landing type thickness same as round no press ok ok Analytic thickness, nosing, apply nosing profile, front only, nosing length, and connection, straight cut, run type. Step. it will look like this obviously we don't want that we just want a flush so I'm just gonna click that and then let's go to run type it's already smooth so we're gonna put 900 900 because we want it to be flush like that let's go back here and then here we could just edit and we want to extend it all the way right there and then click finish al to align it from there and that's how it looks you can change the thickness of here so that it doesn't show so whatever thickness we put so that it's looking like that and then we could place um, our ground floor and then on the surrounding as well so we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and i hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below